Samsung announced its new flagship Galaxy S24 smartphone range Wednesday, earlier than expected, touting new artificial intelligence features as the company looks to kick off 2024 with a bang. As is standard with Samsung's flagship range now, the S24 range comes in three versions, the S24, S24 Plus, and S24 Ultra. The S24 Ultra starts at a price of $1,300, the S24 Plus will cost $1,000, and the S24 will retail at $800. The South Korean electronics giant showed off the new gadgets at its King's Cross offices in London earlier this week, prior to the announcement. At a briefing with reporters, Samsung talked up the phone's AI capabilities and showed how it's able to edit pictures and search for items by using AI. For Samsung's top-tier S24 Ultra, which is the company's biggest of the three devices and comes with punchier specs and features, Samsung is using a version of Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon Series 8 Gen 3 optimized for Galaxy. The company is using a mix of Qualcomm systems on chips, socks, and its own Exynos chipset for its S24 and S24 Plus models. The Galaxy S24 series devices, together with Google's Pixel range, mark the dawn of the consumerization of AI in smartphones, Ben Wood, chief analyst at CCS Insight, told CNBC. This is a trend that will be echoed by all smartphone makers, including Apple, as they increasingly add a growing number of AI-powered capabilities to their new devices. This launch sees Samsung betting on features powered by artificial intelligence to reignite consumers' interest in smartphones at a time when incremental hardware updates have seen sales slow. Google has been the trailblazer with its Pixel devices and there is little question this is going to be a recurring theme going forward, not just for smartphones but across all consumer electronics. The Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra is the of the main event for most tech gadget enthusiasts, and, for the most part, it isn't a whole lot different to the Galaxy S23 Ultra looks wise. That's because Samsung isn't changing an awful lot with the hardware. It still comes in the same size as its predecessor. The display is 6.8 inches, measured diagonally, though the phone is flatter this time round. The S23 Ultra had more curvature to it. The big upgrade to the external hardware with this model is that it's cased in titanium, so it's a lot sturdier than the S23 Ultra. The main difference this time round is what's inside. Samsung is going big on artificial intelligence. A key focus for Samsung, like other smartphone makers, now is on, on-demand, AI, or, the ability to carry out AI workloads directly on a device, rather than over the cloud. Samsung said its new Galaxy S24 Ultra will come with a bunch of new AI features, a lot of which is being powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset for mobile, which is tailored for AI devices. It signals something that a lot of smartphone makers have been focusing on recently.